They're fast, they're sneaky, and for most people, they're utterly disgusting. Yes, we're talking about cockroaches. But what if we told you that behind their creepy reputation lies a fascinating behavior that most of us never notice? Have you ever seen a cockroach scurry away and immediately begin washing itself after brushing against your skin? What looks like random twitching is actually an act of survival, a biological ballet of cleaning, sensing, and adapting. In this episode, we dive deep into one of the strangest and smartest behaviors in the insect world, the grooming ritual of the cockroach. Cockroaches have been around for over 300 million, years long before dinosaurs walked the earth. Despite their evolutionary success, humans often see them as pests, carriers of disease, and symbols of filth. But beneath that negative image, these insects possess complex sensory systems and survival strategies that rival some of the most sophisticated creatures on the planet. Let's break down the moment a cockroach touches human skin. Within milliseconds, the insect will flee to a dark corner, and then something curious happens. It begins to groom itself. It rubs its antennae, scrapes its legs, even adjusts its wings. This isn't random. It's a reflex-driven survival behavior. Human skin carries oil, sweat, perfumes, and chemicals from lotions and soap. For cockroaches, these substances can contaminate their incredibly sensitive sensory hairs and antennae. These antennae aren't just feelers. They're their GPS, their nose, and their eyes all in one. Any disruption could be dangerous. So what do they do? They clean meticulously, restoring their senses to full working order. Cockroaches use their legs like cleaning tools, passing their antennae through specially adapted grooves on their forelegs to wipe away foreign particles. This cleaning ritual ensures that their sensory input remains clear, allowing them to detect food, mates, predators, or changes in air movement. It's like recalibrating a satellite dish only in miniature. But there's another reason they clean, to hide. When a cockroach is touched by a human, it might carry that scent with it. And in nature, scents can attract predators like spiders, centipedes, or geckos. Grooming removes those scents, helping the insect return to its stealthy, camouflaged state. But there's another reason they clean, to hide. Believe it or not, cockroaches are actually quite hygienic, at least by insect standards. They don't just clean after contact with humans. They groom multiple times a day. They wipe their antennae, smooth their wings, clean their legs, almost like a cat licking its fur. It's an instinctive, constant behavior that helps them stay alert, mobile, and responsive. But there's another reason they clean to hide. Believe it or not, cockroaches are actually quite hygienic, at least by insect standards. The fact that cockroaches have survived for hundreds of millions of years isn't a coincidence. It's thanks to behavioral traits like this one. Their grooming not only protects their senses, but also helps them avoid infection from bacteria and fungi. Some studies even suggest cockroach grooming might be part of a larger, self-defense system like maintaining their immune barrier through cleanliness. So the next time you see a cockroach run away and wash itself after touching you, don't take it personally. It's not reacting out of disgust, it's simply trying to survive. To it, your scent is unfamiliar, maybe even dangerous. It's just doing what evolution has trained it to do, protect its sensors, erase its trail, and live to scurry another day. In a world that sees them as dirty invaders, cockroaches quietly demonstrate one of the most fascinating acts of self-preservation in the insect kingdom. 
Their grooming ritual is not just a quirk, it's a sophisticated survival tool. So while they may never win a popularity contest, maybe, just maybe, they deserve a little more respect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more hidden stories from the world of science and nature. Until next time, stay curious.